That makes them burger! Yo, what is up guys and welcome to this video. So this is the second part of the tutorial series of how to create a free JS um, website portfolio. So for the second step, you wanna install Visual Studio Code Studio Code. There we go. Now just Google it and click on the first link that you receive on Google. So now here, here it is. Basically, what we want uh, out of uh, what we want from Visual Studio Code is basically to be able to um, download some extensions, and it already supports programming languages, uh, or popular programming languages such as Python, JavaScript, or all these other languages as uh, HTML. And CSS. What we are gonna use primarily is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for this uh, tutorial series. And um, we're gonna need a tool called Live Server. So click on Download for Windows. If you have Mac, then just click on the arrow down and click on the stable one, not the insiders, but the stable one. And then click on uh, yeah for Windows, just click on the blue button, and a download link uh, will appear. Or if it doesn't appear, just go to your downloads folder. Now, I've already installed Visual Studio, so it doesn't really make sense for me to install it again. Um, just choose English. Uh, has to, is currently running. Okay. So basically, what you want to do is install Visual Studio. Um, after installing Visual Studio. Now, it's not going to... Sorry, it's not going to look like this. But uh, just think of it. Let me just uh, zoom out a little bit. So here's the important part, right? You have your folders, your explorer. So here is where you can basically take a quick look at, at all of your at all of your folders and your files for the search you can search for a specific variable a function a class file anything a folder uh, if you have a bunch of files that you're working with so this is the source control where you can basically like uh, you can basically update uh, and what is it called push and commit your your repository uh, so it's already integrated and built in that is real cool you have your run and debug and then you have your extensions we want the extensions part right so search for live server search for live server and then just install it it will say install please just install it um what other extensions are we using and basically what live server does is uh, we don't have to uh, save everything here and then refresh the page that you're working uh, on you can basically just save it uh, save it save your progress uh, save your code here and it will basically uh, automatically update the the saved code on the live server so on the website that you're working on as you can see here right it's pretty cool so please install live server and we will continue on to the next episode thank you guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and comment down below see you on the next one